Hi, this is Gareth Manfred Graf from Restore the Planet. The Big Bang Theory is a crackpot cosmology that was invented by the Catholic priest Georges Lemaitre. This pope-worshipping moron turned mathematician invented the ridiculous surrealistic idea that our entire universe sprang from a space smaller than an atom. Considering the fact that the Catholic Church still holds the Earth to be only 6,000 years old, it is not surprising that they have invented such an irrational cosmological explanation. You may wonder how so many of today's scientists can believe in such a foolish idea. Is it because of evidence? Unfortunately, it is not. The sad truth of the matter is that most conventional scientists are not scientists, but instead gullible mathematicians who will believe anything that is hawked to them by their paid indoctrinators. The Big Bang Theory can be easily disproved with a quick look at the evidence. The only observation that directly supports the Big Bang Theory is the expansion of the universe. However, there's a little problem. The universe is not expanding. Indeed, if the entire universe were to expand, this would violate the conservation of mass. To get around this limitation, conventional scientists have converted the concept of space into some sort of hyperspace that physically pushes objects apart. This strange type of reification is highly unjustified because recessional velocities have never been measured. In fact, all that we see is a redshifting of the elemental absorption lines and light coming from distant galaxies, and an inverse relationship between galaxy luminosity and redshift. When these observations were first made by Edwin Hubble, the only explanation that could be given was a Doppler effect of light, which would insinuate that everything was moving away from the Earth. Obviously, there's nothing special about our own reference frame, and so it was concluded that everything must be moving away from everything else. However, modern laboratory experiments have demonstrated that a lot of things, including different electrical phenomena, can redshift both light and absorption lines. This in combination with the fact that many high redshift quasars have been found to be embedded in low redshift galaxies makes it quite evident that the universe is probably steady state. And with a steady state universe, there's no justification for a Big Bang. And so the theory is eliminated. There are two other very weak arguments that the Big Bangers tend to bring up when the expanding universe is plainly debunked. The first of these arguments is that the Big Bang Theory correctly predicts the observed level of light element abundances. This argument is in fact fallacious. The Big Bang Theory makes a prediction as far as light element and isotope abundances and the prediction that it made did not match observation. So cosmologists adjusted the prediction after the fact and lo and behold it matched observation. Well obviously that's not science at all. The final, very, very weak argument that is drawn upon when you go for the jugular of this ridiculous theory is the cosmic microwave background radiation. The Big Bang Theory clearly predicts that the background radiation should be smoothly and homogeneously distributed. However, observation shows us that there are huge voids in this radiation. No more need be said. It is clear that our universe is infinite and eternal and all funding should be permanently yanked from these idiotic creationists. Mother Nature, Father Universe, and Animating Spirit have no need of beginning or end. Our universe always has been and always will be in accordance with the conservation of energy. Today is a gift from eternity in both space and time. Have fun with it and have the absolute best day ever.